minimizing charisma, maximizing intelligence, shooting someone in the crotch with a cannonball, thrust, propulsion, it's science-y. <laughs> Why you always gotta be blowing my spot up like that? There are my runes. There they are. I'm not mad. Science needs art and art needs science. They both need each other to function properly. There are ways to figure out what the paper is really saying. And then I'm ready to get on Twitter and yell at people about doing their own research on the oh! oh, hold on there, sports fan. Kyle Hill, everybody, is the next generation of science communicator. I'm going to be too old at a certain point to do those terrible things to my body, and it'll be up to you. He's got like a lion. This guy's amazing. <laughs> Kyle Hill. I'm Boo Rambo. The universe is indifferent to you. Whether or not you have amazing hair, the universe doesn't care. How are trees pushing past this pressure limit? Ah! Behold, my balls. Ah! Now we're getting somewhere, but I still don't think it's worthy of G.R.R. Martin's suspender. I'm totally right, right? Post up photos of my my frickin' hair? Is that what you all want? No, you don't, weirdo. Kyle Hill. Is your last name actually Hemsworth? What's going on? Our, our resident Thor lookalike. I prefer uh, Black Friday Chris Hemsworth. Oh, thank you. Hey, you know, if you need a haircut. No, of course not. We're not going to send sharks with frickin' laser beams on their heads to an asteroid. We're going to nuke. No. No, I mean, sorry, I had to, <laughs> Kevin's have the speaker on. No, I mean, I didn't see anything while I'm down here. No, it's kind of, I mean, I mean, it's pitch black down here. I mean, what do you expect? No, I mean, everything's built in a spherical fashion, but I didn't, I didn't see anything. What? Oh yeah, that is James Cameron. Anyway. Yeah, no, the riddle stuff. Uh, no, I wouldn't worry too much about them. No, I've had more people reaching out to me about science scams on YouTube than ever before. I have a number of leads. Let's just say it'll be dealt with. <laughs> What's that? You think this is kind of in poor taste right now? Well, I don't ask you to moralize me. I pay you to keep me company sometimes. Okay, see you later. Bring the popcorn. I love you, bye. Chat. Chat, welcome. Two things right before we start. First of all, yes, I'm aware of the riddle situation. Not too worried about it. Not too worried about it. I am, uh... I actually can't say everything that I'm doing, but let's just say I can see the bottom of the rabbit hole at this point. Do we do anything about it? We'll find out in the next month or so. Second. Kyle, why is your face so red? Because I spent literally an hour putting a baby bird back into a nest in its tree. Biking on my bike path, 10 miles. Saw a little thing in the middle of the bike path. Screeched to a halt, much like Rad, the movie Rad. Screeched to a halt. Little baby bird, not injured, couldn't fly yet. Looked around in into the trees. Saw two parent birds screaming at me. And so what do I do, Chet? You can't just stop. And so I spent the next hour or so grabbing pieces and parts from around the park around me, like trash cans and such, and climbing up onto the trash cans into the tree to put the baby bird back. I did the best I could, chat. Whether or not that pays off, whether or not the baby bird survives, I did the best I could. That's why I'm a little sunburned, chat. I went out and touched grass, can you imagine? Is it true that parent birds will discern their, dis, disown their baby if it's touched by humans? Um, I think that's mostly a myth. Now, whether or not this baby bird is still a troublemaker and jumps out again, 
Chet, a lot of you may be newbies. A lot of you may be coming in from our last live stream office hours on the main channel where we had our most live viewers ever. Seven and a half thousand people. So a lot of you may be coming in here for the gaming stream. You're like, what? That intelligent submarine science boy also plays games? That's right. We also play games here at the facility. Welcome. Happy to have you all here. Happy to see many facility members. Alicia, Veilside. Shinobi, Invisible Ray. Daniel. Where's my boy? Alexander Kotman. He's here. What we do here on Scientist Plays is very different than what we do on the main channel. The main channel, look, I open up the blast doors to the facility. I call them like I see them. And we explore and explain everything underneath the stars and beyond. Everything from the dogs of Chernobyl to how ChatGPT works using a sentient supercomputer. But here in the facility, gaming center, it's both gaming and science time. If you've just joined us, uh, we are continuing our hardcore playthrough of Diablo 4. Now, some of you may have some sort of idea, some sort of like mass hysteria thing going on that my hardcore character died last stream and was deleted forever. <laughs> Look, I don't mean to gaslight you, but you're crazy. As you will see, Plutonia still lives and is in the exact same spot that you remember her being in before you fabricated her death. Look, yes, would it, would it be cool to defeat Diablo 4 on hardcore in one go? Yes, that would be cool. But to defeat Diablo 4 on the hardest difficulty setting available to you on hardcore, I think is the goal. But it doesn't matter, we're still doing it our first time anyway. Blah, 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 blah. Fat Thor playing Fortnite makes kids cry. Science Thor as well. Uh, I played um, Fortnite on Arya's uh, Switch and um, or Chompy's Switch and uh, since it does, ma and I know Chompy's watching, and since it does SBMM, skill-based matchmaking, I think I got a Victory Royale in my second game. Anyway, Chad, if you're just joining us, where does all of this go D? Down, that is. Here in the Gaming Command Center, of course, two 75-inch monitors. One to see what you're saying, one to see what we're playing, which is... Oh, hey! <laughs> okay! Not supposed to see the private collection there. See what you're saying, what we are playing. In front of me, two... Two 27-inch curved OLED monitors. That stands for Organic Light Enhanced Display Monitors. Curved to fill my periphery and split right down the middle because I can dislocate the muscles in my eyes much like a Jackson's Chameleon. PS6 behind me, its controller doesn't work. That's horse shit. I watch myself on repeat. Of course, I if you're gonna be if you're gonna have a critic, it might as well be you. Trey Plesha, how's it going, Kyle? I haven't been able to catch a stream before, so I'm glad to be able to Trey. Get the hell in here! Happy to have you. If you are unfamiliar with what we do here at Scientist Plays, we'll be playing through Diablo 4. Uh, check and tell you, I'm a decent gamer. But more importantly here at the facility, our goal is to edutainment. Which means we'll also be having as many science times as possible. I think last time, last two times, last three times, we had well over a dozen, maybe 20 where we will learn about everything from exploding, exploding corpses to the viscosity of blood, mate. I flow in and out of my Australian. I actually have an Australian friend. She's an actress and host and everything like that. I said, would you teach me? She said, yes, absolutely, dude. I'm pretty close. 
why, Kyle, why do you insist on learning a perfect Australian accent? Well, I'll tell you. I want to pull a reverse Hemsworth. I want to go to Australia and act in Australian movies, but I'm an American. Think about that. Jell Rucklick says, I've lost 11 characters on Hardcore so far. <laughs> Sucks to be you, bro. <laughs> Might as well get good. I'm just kidding. Game's hard. I wasn't there to count last science times. How did we do? Says Alicia. Uh, more than a dozen. I forget. Laszlo Gall. Or, uh, yeah, Laszlo Gall. Hello, first time catching you live. Greetings from Budapest. And gives me their time just so I can feel bad about how late they are up. Laszlo, get the heck in the facility, buddy. Or Badet. Happy to have you here all the way from Hungary. I'd like you to go to Budapest. But if you're hungry for content, then oh my god. Chat, let's do it. It's time for a scientist plays. Like I said, not only do we have science and gaming and terrible puns, but we also have science time that we will get into as much as we can. Hi from Liege, Belgium. Have fun, says Vincent. Uh, some of my oldest childhood friends are from Belgium. Taught me some Flemish, Flemish words that I completely forgot. Diablo lore seems awesome, but the gameplay isn't my style. It's fine. The lore is cool. So let's, let's get her loaded in here. So as you can see, this is the exact same character from last time. We're still hardcore. We're still on veteran. She looks freaking awesome. As you can clearly see, she is the exact same level. She has the exact same name, Plutonia. Spelled the same way. She's still level 21. Hardcore difficulty. Let's go. Is it true you can't tip a cow? Says urinator. No. You can push over anything. Can you push over anything? I mean, yes? Depends on what you mean by push over, I guess. Lynn Human, I have no idea what you're talking about. So we get uh, we get our controller. Let's show you where, uh, of course, it doesn't work immediately. <laughs> uh, cool, cool. Let's let's get her going here. Let's uh, replug this in. Let's uh, get her going here. Let's just um. Get her going here. And let's just go ahead and do this. And let's just um, get her going. And let's just go ahead here. And just re what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in. And by plugging it in, um, what we do um, is the game obviously immediately recognizes that. And what the game is going to do is then um, I'm just going to adjust the uh, USB port here. And what the game is going to do is recognize that I, I plugged it back in. You can see the lights on on the controller. And so, see, what's a, what's a problem? So as you can see, chat, uh, we have the same amount of exploring that we did last time, same amount of side quests, which is zero. Um, and we're right back to the quest where you remembered me being at the quest. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna throw is go to that quest. Easy. Tree, welcome. Buzz Fenrir. Welcome. You know you can make your own keyboard, says Philly. Yes, I, I... I do... I do... I mean, I know that generally. Um, if the control... If the... Graphics look a little muddy, it's because we're playing on medium, so I have no hitch in my giddy-up, and I can get the most out of this hardcore mommy session. Alrun says Gigasus. I have no... All right, let me get, let me, uh, it's, chat, as what I, uh, as, uh, as I was saying, this is, oh, how low is the audio right now? Is it way too low? Or is it good? Um, yeah, turn it up a little bit. It's going to slow down the game, just a second. Boop. As you can see, chat, uh, 
I haven't played at all since uh, since last stream. So you just give me give me a second to sh to shake the rust off. Okay, we have the same equipment. We have the same abilities. You know, all the way down. We have all. The, you know, it's fine. When did YouTube let people gift memberships? Says Urinator. Oh, a little while ago. Kyle, how much time did it take you not to grind to the same place where P Plutonia not died? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but, like, theoretically, if you were to ask me that question, uh, not as much time as you think, because a lot of the time that we spend here together is doing science and, and other stuff, you know? Does it sound loud enough? Oh, I know what the issue is. I know what the issue is, chit. Ugh! I always forget what buttons do what. I know what the issue is, chat. Ah! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Okay, how's that now? How's that loudness in comparison to my voice? Is that better? You think necromancers use quantum physics to raise the dead? Let me ask you this question. How would quantum physics break parity on, on death? You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys, you didn't want to attack this guy slowly walking toward me? Uh, quantum physics has nothing to do... Short answer, no. <laughs> It's a bit loud, but it's good. You can turn it down. That's always available to you. Chat, as you can see, I'm the exact same power level, exact same number of potions. Will we see a uh, Code Miko collab? Says Jared Javier. Yes. Um, I uh, messaged, uh, I was talking with uh, Miko just two days ago. We still want to do a little interview on her uh, stream, so we'll do that. And it'll be fun, because Miko is is a very spicy woman. And it's fun. I'm a little spicy myself. Fighting drowns out your voice. She's unhinged in a good way. It's a good way to put it. No, I like I like Miko a lot. I think what she does is very innovative and funny, and it kind of takes advantage of a bunch of tropes. What was what was uh, her her stream her stream yesterday or two days ago was her playing a game with her new avatar, but her avatar's boobs got bigger every time she died. Which is just, it's, that's just funny, right? Like, <laughs> she's spicy. I, I like it. Plutonian never, like, Schrodinger's cat, dead nut, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. If, if you go back on the VOD, which stands for Video On Demand Chat, did you know that? Go back on the VOD, and you'll see this is exactly where we left off. I'll explain on the way. I even know so much, I'm just going to skip her dialogue. Look, is it weird that these guys are five levels below me? Who in the world could say? Who could say, Chad? Hey Kyle, hit Y for a sec? I don't have Y. Oh, on my keyboard? Why? 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 Her interview with Wubby was bananas. Yeah, well, Wubby is a little unhinged himself, isn't he? Shut! Squirrel, shut the hell up! You saw nothing. That was a mirage. That was... Who? What? You are... Not only are you insane, you are legally uh, held accountable by me. And also get out. And I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna I'm gonna unpromote you right now. Let's see if I can do. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> Rothma's description of the ritual was difficult to understand, and the notes weren't much better. I think I know how to. I'll, talk I'll reinstate your mother. position later. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> the true measure of a man is what he does with unlimited power, chat. All right. Now, as you remember, this is right where we left off. Nothing happened. The stream may have ended suddenly or something. Yeah, uh, Steven Starkham. Yeah, I had, um... So I responded to Riddle's video in real time. Uh, but given how... Um... Let's just say... Bad... I think the rebuttal was, um, in many ways, I decided to clip it off the, um, submarine video so that people who were interested in learning about the submarine could just watch that and not watch an extra hour of other stuff. Um, I still have the video, I still have the cut, so if it comes to that and we need to react, um, more publicly, then we will. But I don't see the reason to at the moment, you know? Like, what's the point? And, uh, yeah, the sub stream was the highest number of live viewers we ever had. It's over, it doesn't show it on the front end, but on the back end, it's like at 350,000 views, which is like approaching like a main video. So, um, I wanted to have it just be pure submarine physics, all that stuff. Pilot's still on the sub stream. I know it's, Let's hurry. that's YouTube's fault, not mine. You should have left it. Well, it's still up there, I think. Okay, so chat, we're exactly where we left off. So let's see what happens. Oh wait, we're not where we left off. Just a second. How strange. Somehow this place feels like home. See now, chat. You may be saying, "Well, this isn't the exact same place." Well, maybe I forgot exactly where we left off. So just give me a second to blow up some tumies. You are the last. Get a haircut. Look, Chet, I'm not, I'm not being, I'm not, I'm not hiding my response to Riddle. I am prioritizing the topic and the education therein. Like, if, if people are searching for that and the video is doing extremely well, we can separate the two. And if I need to do something later, then we can do that. And my controller stopped work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this USB plug here. I'm going to plug this into here and then... All I gotta do, it's easy, watch, I'm gonna move this controller, and then once I plug in this controller, now if this happens during a fight, obviously, uh, like a boss fight, um, that could be bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the USB controller here, and once I, it's a Logitech controller, yes, and so once I plug the Logitech controller in, it's gonna give me perfect mobility of my submersible, um, of my character. that a lot of my buttons aren't working. That's um, suboptimal, obviously. Like, not, not great that the buttons aren't working. <laughs> oh, man. This could very possibly suck. Is this the same? I guess it is. Happen to me, don't recommend. Okay, so that. Mm. Seems to be alright right now. 
Watch the healing po potions next to you. Yeah. It started in Get a haircut, hippie. I saw shattered images. How many science times yet, Chad? That's fine. I need to destroy the tubes to get more fire. <laughs> Game noises are so dank. Well, yeah, it's not supposed to be pleasant. But, like, in hell. So, chat, if you have any science questions while we're destroying Toomey's, should be alright. Not the bag company. Do you know why, um, your digestive system is coiled like this? Just to maximize the amount of surface area that you can squish in your body cavity, right? If it was a straight line, the food wouldn't have enough time, or by having it curve and take these switchbacks all the way down into your butt, um, it maximizes the amount of time that the food spends in contact with your intestines, and your intestines further increase the surface area of themselves by having all these little cilia, all these little hairs and stuff inside of them. Much like your lungs increase their surface area to encourage gas exchange by having all those bronchi and, and, and fractally expanding uh, little passageways. Did you see that Marvel ordered Kyle off Wish and they got the other guy? Says, decrepit sundew. Yeah, unfortunate. It should have gone to WME. Intestinal papillae are the, are the surface increasers, says J. Eros. Yeah, that's what I said. I need this game on PS5, but my wallet energy is low. Jose Martinez, straight off of the last stream yesterday. Welcome back, buddy. Happy to have you here. Shambling indeed. Get Rex. Get blown up. Get blown up. That's what I said. That's what everyone heard me say. Bye bye. Why did the stream cut out yesterday, says Varlock. Uh, we were talking about that. Uh, I did a live reaction to Riddle's um, video about me, and um, I decided to take it out and save it for something else. Um, and just have the video be about the submarine, which people are interested about, and that I think we did a good job describing. So that video is going to be a standalone video about the submarine. And not two hours about some YouTube drama. It doesn't need to be that, chat. And the prophecy became my get a haircut. And I hope that at least indicates to you in some way that even though drama can get you a lot of views, that's I really don't care. I mean, I care in so far as that it affects my ability to educate people, but, you know. Riddle me this, science man! Why are you so cool? Um, I'm not, I'm not very cool. I just, I just, I just don't look lame. You know. Have you ever had the intrusive thought to tweet out nonsensical facts? Says Decrepit Sundew all the time, but I don't use Twitter anymore. So, Kyle, if Plutonia, if Plutonia died, not that she did, and you made a new Plutonia, but has all the same memories and experience of the other Plutonia, are they the same person or different? You are now talking, talking about a ship of Theseus situation, or more modernly, the teleporter situ- more modernly, uh, the teleporter situation, where let's say that a teleporter accident happens aboard a starship, and there are two copies made of you at the other end. Which one is the real you? Um, I'm a reductionist in this regard. 
by which I mean, if you have all the thoughts and feelings and, um, if all, let's put it this way, if all of your atoms and all of their atomic states and, and quantum states are in the exact same composition that they were before you were split in two, then you are both of those people. Think about that, chat. You would be both of those people. Is you the you that experiences Eunice? Well then, aren't there two of you experiencing you? Think of that. Think about that, chat. I've been thinking a lot about the brain. I have on a post-it note over here. Um, an episode I think I'm gonna do on the modern approach to what the brain is doing. Um, in neuroscience, because funnily enough, the modern model of how the brain works is exactly how ChatGPT works. Well, I mean, not exactly how, and the brain is insanely more powerful, but ChatGPT was constructed to do a similar thing. Whoa, can you talk about Eunice on, on YouTube? Calm the hell down. We are above such thing. Did I feel like that just? Oh. Kia qui. I think there's a lot that Eastern philosophy can inform about the ideas of the self, and what Eunice is, and what uh, the conception of I is. You know. Most of psychology and neuroscience has been dominated by Western thinking and philosophy. Not to say that it shouldn't be. I mean, it, it could be the case that some people are wrong and some people are right. But I think Eastern philosophy has a lot to add to ideas of the self and consciousness that, that can bear themselves out in research. like the double evade. I'm gonna need the double evade for the boss fight. My Diablo keeps force shutting down. Does that apply to identical twins, says C-Dub31? No. Identical twins share the exact same DNA. That's, that's it. Um, they do not have the same cognition or, in, I mean, they may very much have the same environmental upbringing, etc, etc. But, when people talk about nature versus nurture, it's always both. It has to be both, right? Um, you may have the exact same DNA, but how that DNA is um, impinges upon, upon the world is going to be different for every organism, right? What about conjoined twins, says Derek Bennett? If you don't share a brain, how can you share consciousness or, or be the same person? Right? We need to... We need to think harder about what it means to be you, right? I don't think it's easy. I don't think it's an easy answer, Chad. Why would it be? You know? Uh... <laughs> Wait, do I not have full corpse, Splody? I do. I full that, full that. Full bone spice. Uh, do not have full tendies. Lost my hardcore sorcerer named Zuko last night. Now I have a level eight necromancer named Chernobyl. Krivak, now a facility gamer. What a chad this Krivak is, huh? Get a haircut, you hippie! Ugh. Dress for the job you want. What do you want to be? A backup singer for Fleetwood Mac? <laughs> Get wrecked, Ratma! Ow! Come over here, where it's safe and warm. Yes. There you go. Nope! 
Get out of the snow. Just die. I think there was a conjoined chin with twin with a connected brain. Let me ask you this question, chat. Because there is, I think, an interesting thread here. If you had terrible grand mal seizures and you had your corpus callosum cut, classic CCK. Or CCC, I'm stupid. Um, which they do for patients with terrible seizures, epilepsy, that kind of thing, to prevent the neuronal thunderstorm that is a seizure from spreading across both halves of the brain. They cut the stem of neuronal fibers that connects the two halves. If you cut down the center of the brain and you separate those two hemispheres, which can act more or less independently, are those two different people? I don't have a good answer for you. Sean Rodriguez. How you doing, Kyle? I'm doing... I'm doing good. I woke up. Got out of bed. No. I woke up. What the hell did I do? Who cares? Rode my bike for 10 miles. I saved a baby bird's life. And then I took a shower and now I'm here. Jet. Oh, you must understand. Get a haircut. Once I am victorious in hell, the Curse this place. You look like a Metallica Living cover band. Forward. Now, we may or may not be coming up on the area where we may or may not have stopped last time. Who could say? Not me. One second. Now, chat. Uh, I don't know what happened. I forgot. I blacked out last stream. But if I die during this stream, the stream may or may not immediately stop.
chat. Now, chat, as I was saying before, no, you were misremembering what happened. I thought this, the character design of this was freaking awesome. I thought this idea that you're about to see as a form of punishment yet strength is so cool. I think this is so cool and so sad and so interesting. Very cool story beat. That to have the strength of this suit, he had to physically... Who did this? I have done... Iron Maiden himself into it. Asked. The pain is gone now. This was a just punishment. That's cool. It's just really cool. Two legendies? To prove your worth, friend. And, see, and so, just like that, Oh yeah, that looks frickin' cool. Sure. Sure. What does it give me? I don't know. Don't care. Take it. That amulet carried through me through my first playthrough. This one? Eh. Eh. Is this the one that makes the barrier? Plus one rank of all macabre... Macabre. Sorry. Skills. Damage reduction. Hit while now healthy. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the um yeah, this is the barrier one. Give me the key to hell. No, and get a haircut. Not ask again. Look like you're wearing a wig. Where is she? I think we see Blood Mommy a little bit. I think we look at Blood Mommy a little bit and then we return. Rathma? Rathma, more like Wrath Mommy. Wrath Ma. Wrath. Wrath Mam. Wrath Mom. Ma. Just gonna move the microphone away from my face. Madre de Sangre. Sangre? God, she's so hot. I don't know if you would have chosen to stand beside me. My bro's got to maintain. Rathma. But I would have saved your place. I love you. Damn. That's, uh... That's, uh... Well, almost Act 1 completed on Hardcore. Easy like Sunday... Morning. Are you back to the point where Plutonia died last time, or are you past that point? I don't know what you're talking about. As you can see, I have a hardcore character that is at the end of Act 1. I can fix her. <laughs> Wait, how far away are you? Why can't I... Oh, maybe it was just in that room? No, maybe it was this? Bye bye. Chat. Chat. Kind of want. I need the max evade charge on a. Uh, on a what's its nuts? I need it on a um, legendary so I can take it off and put it on something. Chat, if you like what we do here at Scientist Plays, not just the Science Times, but also my face, and also the gaming, also everything that we do here at the facility, consider liking the stream. We are still growing the gaming channel, as is my want to do. Are still growing the gaming channel. And I would love for you to like the stream or leave a comment. Or whatever it is you people do. Be gone, wolven beast. 
Especially the hair that hides your face. Look, I'm afraid that I got fat during lockdown. Shut up. If I want to hide my face, I can do whatever I want. But Kyle, aren't you extremely in shape and handsome? Yes. It doesn't mean anything when you have mental stuff. Oh, Chad, I just uh, realized as Hypos try to join, um, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to answer a request at this moment because it usually crashes my game. But if you want to join the facility clan, that's TF facility, all caps. We have 62 members already. I think the cap is 150. So if you want to get in, you got to do it before you can't. Facility needs a pull-up bar. Oh, it's got more than that. Chat, I'm starting to climb again, too. Uh, actually, speaking. So I bought new climbing shoes, new uh, warm-up shoes, because I lost my other ones. And now I've started to climb again with no other than a new climbing buddy, Xyla Fox Lin. Anybody like uh, Xyla's YouTube channel? Maker extraordinaire. Uh, super smart girl, super nice, super funny. I like her a lot. Turns out that most nerds rock climb, and we are now rock climbing partners. And she's way better than I thought she was going to be. Not to say that I was judging her. I'm saying she was only climbing for six months, and for only having climbing, it's the past tense of climb, for six months, she's very, very good. Vigo wanted you to have this. And Chad, if this makes you feel any better or nicer in any way, if you're wondering if most of your favorite science YouTubers are friends, seeking the of we are. Seeking hope. Just joined today. Thanks for letting me in. Now, this is Soromaru. Welcome, buddy. But her part in things was far from. I don't care. Um, why do nerds rock climb? Uh, I think because it's an individual sport, so you don't have to interact with anybody. I think because uh, at its heart, it's all problem solving. How do I put my body? What do I put? How do I move my hands, my hips? Um, for me, it's basically just a physics problem that I can work for like two hours straight, um, which is very um, satisfying for my brain. It's numerically rated, so you can progress yourself. You're like min-maxing, you're like a, a video game character. You can see yourself get better, and you can denote that progression by numbers. Um, so I think all that taken together and having it be more of a niche thing, although it's growing all over the world, makes it amenable for the introvert and the nerd and the engineer. I know so many engineers that rock climb. All right, chat. That's act one. Easy peasy lemon cheesy. We will now, I don't, I, I don't know. How am I already here in act two? I don't know. It must be a glitch, but um, we're going to talk about the science of blood pretty soon. I'm, I'm sure. Do you like the movie Cliffhanger? I do, but not for the climbing. Cliffhanger is just fun. The forest has gone mad. We're not going out there again. And the science YouTubers talk about us, make no mistake. It's not always nice, as D.W. Jones. Uh, that's not true. There's a horned woman. No, it's nice to talk about What's nice to talk to Zyla or any other YouTube person is that almost nobody has this job, right? Um, very few people do, and so it's nice to talk about, you know, everything. To talk shop, your experiences, what your audience is like and don't like, and how you run your business and all that stuff. It's just it's just nice, you know? How are you liking this game, says Andre Thompson, member for a long time in the gaming channel. It's great. It's a perfect Diablo game. No notes. What kind of music do you like, Kyle? Um, I, uh, believe it or not, I am a, well, I'm a heavy jam band guy. My favorite band for many years has been Fish. I just saw Fish in, in April. Um, and that's how I started playing guitar. I'm more of a funk, jazz, improvisational type guy. And that's cool. So my controller stopped working. So what I'm going to do is, uh, is this. Um, but in terms of like what I listen to, it's pretty eclectic. 
Um, what I listen to when I'm working ranges anywhere, anything, no, anything from jazz, uh, like I've just been re-listening to John Coltrane's My Favorite Things album, which I, I really love, um, jazz to synth wave to, uh, I've been watching a lot of Buckethead live shows, um, so I'm kind of all over the place. Thanks for being here, Decrepit Shadow. Have you tried? Chad, you're asking me a lot of questions. Have you tried Final Fantasy 16? No. Have you ever listened to The Midnight? Yes. D4 looks better than D3. Yes. Um, D D4 is more in the aesthetic landscape as D2, which obviously everyone loves. Lynn, don't go out, don't go, don't rock climb outside for your first time rock climbing. Don't do that. Go to a gym. And Lynn, I'll tell you this. Do you know that I used to be a rock climbing instructor and coach? I used to work at a gym myself. I'll tell you this, Lynn. You ever in my neck of the woods? I'll give you a proper lesson. Where is my neck of the woods? <laughs> I'll never tell. Then Riddle will find me. Kyle, why do you hide your face if you're a rock climbing, guitar playing, lean, mean science machine with beautiful hair? Because it's not the same. This quest is cool. I can envision the next big St. Jude charity event, Science Aid. Um, DW Jones, we kind of do that with, um, we kind of do that with uh, Matt Pat. He brings on a lot of edutubers as a part of the St. Jude livestream, but the next St. Jude livestream, I think, um, I've just been lurking in uh, Dr. Lupo's chat and um, we were DMing about something unrelated, but I'd like to do his St. Jude event this year. If Elon and Zuckerberg fight, who's everyone betting on? I really want Elon to get his ass handed to him. Not just, I'm not, I'm not saying I wish harm upon somebody. What I'm saying is I want, there's nothing like getting your ass kicked that humbles you very quickly. And I think he could use some humbling in my humble opinion. Dr. Lupo and Dr. Disrespect are a great duo. Why do I know how to do that? Who knows? It's because my jaw is very fast, chat. How far are we along? Wow, we're longer than last stream that didn't end abruptly. Chat. Look at all this blood. You ever think about blood, Chad? I do. First science time I noticed, maggots are very clean. When maggots eat the skin of a dead body. Give me back my son! Uh, when maggots eat the skin, skin of a dead body, they secrete antibiotics all around them so that the skin is not irritated or or the potentially living host is not irritated and that is why maggots are actually still used to clean wounds second thing thanks for being here nightcrawler see you soon um blood as you usually hear well okay newtonian and non-newtonian fluids right Usually hear Newtonian fluid, non-Newtonian fluid, and you think that's a weird thing, but what makes it Newtonian? So Newtonian mechanics is is usually talking about something that's more simple. Reaction, opposite and equal reaction, right? A non-Newtonian fluid doesn't have this simple action reaction. So a non-Newtonian fluid as de is defined as not responding equally across time to shearing forces. So forces uh, in this transverse way, fluid moving, fluid molecules moving past itself. So water 
if you push water or you're in a pool and you push water, all of the water, no matter how hard or slow you push, moves the same way. Right? But for something like Ooblek, which is cornstarch and water, something like blood, something like paint, something like silly putty, it responds differently according to how quickly you apply the force, right? You hit Ooblek or cornstarch and water, you hit it quickly, it feels like a solid, but if you tip the cup over and let it act under the force of gravity, it flows like a fluid. And so by acting differently with respect to time, it makes it a uh, non-Newtonian fluid. And all this is to say that blood is a non-Newtonian fluid, and there's many different kinds of non-Newtonian fluids that once you op open up the variable of time, then it gets way more complicated, right? Like, how quickly, how much force, how quickly does that subside, and all those other things. So there's many different categories of non-Newtonian fluid. So you, you probably have an intuitive feeling that silly putty is different from paint, but they're both in the same family of non-Newtonian-ness. All this is to say that blood is non-Newtonian. Chad, I'm not gonna lie. If you asked if I could have some impact on science that, you know, that I could have something named after me like that, like, oh, that's a, that's a hilly, that's a hill sphere. Or that's a, that's a hillian manifold. I, I would very much enjoy that. It's all about legacy chat. I don't know what effect I'm going to have on the world. I don't know if I'm going to have kids. I don't have kids now. The only thing I can do is try to affect as many people in a positive way as possible. And that's why I am the worst thing to ever happen to Riddle. I'm killing their channel. I shouldn't talk about it. Doesn't matter. Is it possible to compress water? No. How differently does blood act in comparison to water, says Manache. Or Menace, I just, uh, I just explained that. And you made my controller die. Menace, if this happens during a boss fight or a fight, I'm effed in the A. Kyle, have you ever played Resident 2 Remake? No. You beat it in a pretty damn good time though, huh? No, you're not. Damn, those Logitech controllers says, Chat, Chat, I want to make something super clear to you. How does a glass of blood act in comparison to a glass of water? Well, get a glass of blood first, and I'll explain. Um, uh, Pazosity, again, saying, damn, Log Logitech controllers. I know it's a meme, but be very clear, the military, the Navy, they all use video game controllers for everything from manipulating periscopes and submarines to operating drones in the field. The Logitech controller thing for the Titan submarine is, is a red herring. The military uses it all the time. Those kinds of things. Hey Kyle, I'm going to the Navy as a nuclear engineer. Hell yeah, proud of you, buddy. Any advice as to what I should study to be as prepared as possible? What kinds of math should I look into? It's a secret FBI man. Have you not gone through college yet? How? I don't know how you go straight into nuclear engineering. Um, but if that's what you're doing somehow, uh, physics one, two, three, uh, statics, dynamics, thermodynamics, heat transfer, uh, uh, calculus one, two, three, differential equations, but that should all be in your engineering degree, uh, in, in college or university, whatever you want to call it. And if you're going, if you're doing that, they presumably have a program. I start schooling after basics. Got it. Um, your program should have it all laid out. Oh, oh, but but if you want like a heads up on what you're going to study, yeah, you're going to 
you're gonna have to do calculus. Um, you're gonna do calculus one, two, one and two and three, differential equations, um, statics as the engineering principle, thermodynamics, heat transfer, all that stuff. Um, Henry Colt, now a member for two months. What cards are you excited to play with from LOTR? I just bought four a uh, playset of foil orcish bowmasters and delighted halflings. I know the ROTC will manage his plant, but I, if he wants a, head up, a heads up on what to start looking at. Now, this is also cool. I like this Sisyphusian torment. So this guy, calm, calm down. So calm down. So this guy at the top of the hill defeated an ancient demon that Lilith wants and because the demon can give her access to some place. Um, this demon called Astaroth. So he defeated Astaroth, which is why she found him and did this horrible thing to him. But it's kind of this, um, oh, not Sisyphusian, uh, Promethean. So it's kind of this Promethean torture to be like torn apart over and over again. But the implication of his torture here is that he was split in half, but kept alive. And this entire area is filled with his blood which I think is pretty frickin' metal. Uh... Nathane. <gasps> what? Who? <gasps> Who are... Anyway. So I must, I must find the source of her corruption inside of this thicket from which his blood floweth. And I bring his trusty lad along with me, Fjorben. <clears throat> Chet, I tried to face the world boss of Asha the other day, um, but I was the only person there, and so I just turned around and ran away. Trying to figure out a way to go back to school for a science research tree. Don't, don't, don't ever discount a community college, man. Degree is a degree. I've looked into going back to school chat. If this whole if this whole thing doesn't work out. Shatter into a million pieces, you loser. DW Jones being topical in the chat. Vincent says, gonna leave, bye. All right, thanks Vincent, bye bye. He's already dead. Hey chat, look at the name of this thing. Chat, look at the name of this enemy. Look at the name of this enemy. Chat, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wasn't looking, what's happening? Why are things on fire? Tendies. Look at this big blood barrier. Look at the size of this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this big gross thing, huh? Chat, another science time. Blood is never not red. You get the sense from your own body. You can see my sexy veins right here. That sometimes your blood is blue or dark greenish or something like that. That is not the case. That happens to be how light reflects off of the structure of your skin and your veins and whatnot. Your blood is never blue. Whether it is oxygenated or deoxygenated, it is either light red or dark red. If you want blue blood, you have to be a sort of crab. No blood, sadly, but I love your content. Watcher for a long time, love science. Sometimes I struggle to understand stuff, but you make it easier. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Menace, with the 10. Uh, that's why I do everything that I do. I hope it is clear. Oh, it is very clear that I don't do stuff for any other reason than to educate, trust me. If I wanted to be cynical about all this, it'd be easier, but I'm not. 
And mostly because I think I'd be letting myself down and a lot of people down. And I don't mean to name names, but I, I've had multiple of my heroes say, you know, like, effectively like, hey, passing the torch, dude, don't F it up. So, well, I can't let them down. Back to school? No, stay here, we need you. Take my money, says Stephen Starkham with the tent. <laughs> don't worry about it, Stephen, we're good. Maybe I'll make my own school. If I ever get wealthy enough, I, I will start a foundation of some sort. The Kyle Hill Foundation for learning and, and for kids that want to read good and do other things good too. Tendi. Oh, that's he's already dead. Kyle Hill Sciency School for cool people. Uh, chat, give me your best. Chat, give me your best name for my foundation. Give me your best name. I'll give you a second. I can make a school for ants. You just put a bunch of maces in there and see how well they get through it. Ohio School for the Get Good. The Hill on Earth Academy. Not so bad. That's not so bad. The Hillian Society. The Hill of Knowledge. <laughs> the Center for People who are trying to think Kyle's guillotining their channel, literally. The H-I-L-L -L Institute Help I Learn Lots. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. That's dumb. But good. The Hillian Academy of Sciences and Hair. Umbrella um the Umbre Hill the Umbrella Academy. Ugh. A while back you talked about how great civil engineering is. I don't know if I exactly said that. Uh, and I ran with that, got into college, and I have no regrets, even if I missed Messed up at the end of the year, so smiling active. Well, I'm st proud of you no matter what you do. As long as you study hard and stay nerdy and stay passionate. I believe in you. Profane clot. Why didn't they just call it Ben Shapiro? <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, we're trying to find the corruption. I think there's a boss at the end of this. Mommy? Oh, not yet. Wait. Yet? Under yes. Under old boughs hangs the heart fruit, swollen with hatred. Let it. Oh yeah, this is the dog act. Flood the with the big dog. No, I can't make Mar Marquette DW. I would get sued by my alma alma alma, alma mater. You're summoning a big dog. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what the amulet does, right? Ooh, did it make that cool sound? I like that. It was like a what's his nuts sound. On Zimmer. The Sim. Invader Zimmer. Now that would be a show. Invader Zim, but it's Han Zimmer. <laughs> I have a mighty need for cupcakes. The Hair Institute for Lower Learning. <laughs> Let's try medium learning. At least.
Invader Zimmern <laughs> with the food guy, Andrew Zimmern. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funnier. Blood. No, Talk let me out. The Amalgam of Rage Gestation. Kill it! Uh oh, hello. Oh yeah, this thing knocks me down. Gotta be careful about that. He's not full power yet, but he is a giant! Five or maybe seven headed dog. Yeah, take that. No, on him. Thank you. Stagger. 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 Get him. 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 Damn it. Wounded, but not dead. But not dead. Where Wait, didn't Kyle, Kyle's character die last time? No. I don't know what you're talking about. As you can see, as, as you can clearly see, Plutonia, same level, level 21, and we just got through Act 1. Moving through Act 2. Can I ever leave... The gosh dang dungeon. I need more time. That's good news, FBI man. Proud of you. It's hard. School's hard. <laughs> I've been out of school for a decent while now. Have you thought about making your office hours a podcast, like an audio podcast, because you call it a podcast? Yes. But I don't do it uh, frequently enough. Plus, I like having all my uh, eggs in one basket, so to speak, in terms of um, revenue streams, as they were. And so now having everything, including this gaming channel on YouTube, is beneficial to me. I need more time. The credits should do fine. I'd fight Ben Shapiro in a cage match. Chad, I think we get to Blood Boy here and then we take a short commercial break halfway point in the stream. You can just upload your video straight to Spotify, says Chompy. Can I? Oh. That doesn't sound too hard. I'll think about it. Chat! It's Friday! I hope you are having a good day. It's the end of the week. I'm hoping to kick off your weekend in both a sciency and fun way. Um, if you're joining us from overseas, I know some of you are. Hope you're having a good weekend morning. You're here with scientist plays and your scienceman. KY Jilly. <laughs> I mean KY Hilly. Uh, happy to have you here. We still got another whole half of the stream. That means more gaming, more controllers disconnecting, more science. Oh! Okay, so spoiler alert, I stab him. To ease his pain, much like Prometheus, who took the fire from the gods and was punished for it for giving man access to the sweet stuff of the G's. Okay. So Lilith, 
took... Oh, yeah, I remember this. So now, Lilith made an amalgam of hatred, a big doggy dog, but she's still trying to find Astaroth. And so we have to find where Astaroth is hidden, and the person who hid him is this guy called Donan, and he has a son, and we are going to travel with Donan's son. I'll be sure to drink a White Claw for you, Kyle, but what flavor? Um, Blackberry's pretty damn refreshing. I love when you wear the beard bead. I have a beard bead over here. It's just... <laughs> I, I very quickly tried it and then stopped trying it. I don't know. Where's the boy? Where's the bo There you are. I'm still trying to place... I'm not going to tell you, Chad. I'm, I have to try to guess something. I like how his voice sounds like he's in a helmet. I could bench press Ben Shapiro like 20 times. No, you couldn't. I mean, maybe you could. People are floppy. You picked a fine time to visit Braystag, Wanderer. You're, you're welcome. Let's go, boy! Let's go, little, little, little Chaddington. You look like someone who's seen the world. You look like someone who needs a haircut. Why so needlessly aggressive? Because we're fighting for my life, chat. Let me remind you that we are playing on hardcore. I can prove it. Don't look at that. Uh. See? Hardcore. That means if I die... If I die once, my character is deleted from the server, and you can't get her back. Andre Thompson with the five. I need an honest opinion. If I only had time to play one of these games, what should I pick? Diablo or Jedi Survivor? Hard to say. Two totally different games. Um, hard to say. Depends on how you want to spend your time, I think. And what you like more. You know, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan in the world. They're both, they're both very good games. So, uh, it depends. Sorry I don't have a better answer for you. But, you know, this is the kind of game where, you know, if you have an hour or two or whatever, you could just do side quests and grind and not really think about it too much. Um, whereas Jedi Survivor, you know, all the movement and platforming and fighting might be a little bit more, in, you know, engaging in that kind of way. You might need to pay more attention to it. So depending on what you want to get out of it, you know. Kyle, I would love to see you play StarCraft 2 sometimes as Frozen Kingdom. Uh, Frozen, I have a, I have a secret for you. What's, uh, I don't play StarCraft 2 or StarCraft 1, but I agree with you that I should try it because I know a confusing amount about professional StarCraft. I could tell you a lot about the competitive StarCraft 2 scene in Korea. I watch every major tournament, both ASL and GSL. I have a, <laughs> I have a Maru jersey in my, uh, in my closet right now. I watch uh, Artosis' stream almost every day when it's on. Yeah, I know it's weird, but I don't play StarCraft, but I'm super familiar with everything about StarCraft. I don't know what it is. I just like watching it. Actually, I'll tell you what it was. Um, during lockdown, during the first days of lockdown, uh, I discovered the, the incomparable team, casting duo team of Tasteless and Artosis, Tastosis, uh, doing, doing GSL together, and once, uh, the best casting duo to ever grace esports. And uh, from there, I went back and I watched every single GSL that they did, and then I just got into everything else. Competitive 2D fighter scene, you did the same thing. Yeah, I also fell a little bit 
down that uh, rabbit hole frozen with uh, combo breaker and stuff. Yeah. Jay Long with the five Plutonia's life insurance payout. What are you talking about? We are still alive. We're only very badly burned. Were you talking about Tastosis? Says Soromaru. Yes, the very best in the business. Do you know that I, I uh, I'm friends with uh, Tate. I'm friends with Tate. Wait. Why I'm friends book? with Tasteless's brother. It's sealed, but but there's very bad writing. Oh yeah. Chad, after we get in here, I think we take our short commercial break so we can stretch, get some electrolytes into our body, and then we'll have a whole nother half to our stream. I'm happy to have you here as we grow the gaming section of the facility, as we pull back the Tyvek and add more shielding, lead, concrete, radiation mazes, all that stuff. Thanks for being here, Andre. Appreciate you. Appreciate you being a member for so long. While I blow up these banshees. How vengeful can you be if you're dead? You know? Like, let it go. You have the rest of eternity to, to, to scoop people. Just let it go. Add more Logitech. As I said, the uh, the thing with the controller and the and the uh, and the submarine is a bit of a red herring. Militaries all over the world use video game controllers to do serious things. We should make haste within. Can't you just say we should go inside? Uh, Max of Nature. Wait, do I? Oh. Oh, I took my boots off. Why? It's about 50 plus 10. Should have kept it on for that boss. Eh. Red Heron doesn't mean it makes good memes. I mean, it does. I get you. Oh, you're in a dungeon. Did you know that, bro? Might be losing my mind a little bit here, Chad. Why'd you take off your boot, Kyle? Forgot. Yeah, I would I do remember enjoying the StarCraft campaign. When's your album coming out tomorrow? But it's streaming exclusively on Kick. Like I would stream on kick chat. Come on. Don't grab me. Greetings from Cold Melbourne says random FPV. Welcome. Is there anything you want me to try to say in Australian? I'm practicing. Those sounds were gross. <laughs> yes, razor blades. Oh, I, that was that TikTok, right? I mean, I don't watch TikTok, but I saw it somewhere else. Uh, how are people trying to say it in the English way? But I know how to say it in the Australian way. Rise of Blides. Yeah, man. You just talking about some Rise of Blides. Hey, science man. I love everything you do. I hope you stay awesome. It says Shadow Kid. Welcome, buddy. Happy to have you here. I may be going in and out of an Australian consciousness, but my father described it. You've never been here. Yeah, there's a pretty good impression. It's not an impression. It's a lifestyle. Erida would not have barred the Okay, so now I have to get a thing to put in another thing, and I have to find where that thing is. 
Chef, welcome. As you can see, Chef, uh, if you're just joining us, Plutonia is still very much alive. She definitely didn't ever die. And she's almost a level 40 hardcore necromancer. Hardcore bone time. Tendi. See, that's when Tendi's is really good, where it can get everyone in that little, little section there. And then that, that, the corpse explosion right there really helps. Lost style only if you are putting Vegemite on your toast right now. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually had Vegemite. I don't think so. Not a Vegemite man. Not a Vegemite man. I'm more of like a um, butter on peanut butter toast kind of guy. You know? Like an English muffin with butter and peanut butter. I haven't been using my person up there. So chat, it's it's break time, but I'm afraid if I leave, I will just be ambushed. By these shambling seas. Do you want me to send you some Vegemite, Kyle? No, I could just, I could just buy it. I could just buy it if I want to try it. You don't have to spend no money on me, mate. I have more than enough to go around to feed all my kits. That was more of a New Zealand accent. Yes, I know. It's hard. That did it. Maybe this will ease the dead. It's a start, at least. Chat. Chat. Lilith's been here. Do the intestines give it away? Written on the altar. By stone and root. The weak perish. Yeah, that's just evolution. Come on. Oh, forgotten. It's not exactly evolution. Wait, we, we are Lock anything with understanding shared evolution is more complicated than you think it is. Oh, I hate these guys. Alright. They do so much, like, single damage. Uh, by, like, single hit damage, I mean. They kind of scare me when they're in groups. Uh, stay away. I need more time. Ow! See? Look how much damage that freaking did to me there. Oh. Stay away from me. She must be bending these heroes to her will. How could you tell? Was it the evil demons trying to kill us? Unless. Big dummy. Oh, something has happened to her. I like. We don't know that. But this thing looks cool. Come on. I don't need blood surge. Because I don't use it. Baby bird? Yeah, I saved a baby bird's life earlier today. Sunbird. Spent a lot of time trying to save a baby bird's stupid little life. Why are there so many guys in there? The baby bird's not stupid. I'm just. It took me a long time. I had to climb up on some garbage bins that I pulled out of the ground. Rainbow Dash is now a facility gamer. I challenge you to a game of Mario Kart. That's what you made me think. Of. 
Where's the other boss? Where are you? See, you know what? You know what trips me out about this game? Is that whenever uh, the crafting materials drop, they make uh, the ring dropping sound from the old Diablo games, like the like the legendary drops and stuff like that. So every time just some frickin' dust drops, I think, ooh, but then it doesn't, and that annoys me. Just thought you should know that I that I think that Kevin's should set the break room on fire again. Also, thank you for what you do, says Daniel Benton with the five. You don't want you don't want the Kevin's messing around in the break room. One time, one of the Kevin's put another's head in the microwave and exploded it, kind of like Gremlins. It was, it was disgusting. Much like the movie. Chat. This must be the cairn of the elders. So much. Uh, it's pronounced Kyran. Demonic scars upon their grave and druid runes to rouse the dead. Hopefully, chat, I do not get ambushed and destroyed. Chat, we are halfway through. Chat, we are halfway through today's stream. If you're just joining us, yes, my face is red because I'm sunburned because I saved a baby bird's life outside. Give me a second. And it's the... And it's the, the white balance. Here, see, look at this. Wait. Oh, no, I'm just red. Chat... I hope you're having a good time so far. We are 10 science times in, according to Alicia, our unofficial record keeper. Do you like Portal and Portal 2? Yes, some of the best games of all time. Chat, we're halfway through. Hardcore character, we cannot die. Our bone baddie, Plutonia, cannot die or else she will be deleted from the server instantly, and then we will never see her again. That didn't happen so far, as you can see. So the next hour and a half after I stand up, excrete, maybe put some electrolytes into my body, is going to be science times and getting through act two, which ends with a big old doggy. Has Kyle found the butchers out in the wild yet? Says Andrew. The butcher may, like theoretically, if I found the butcher, it probably would have ended a, another hardcore character of mine out of nowhere. And then I had a white claw and went to bed. Chat, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll give you something to look at in the interim, but this is only halfway through scientist plays. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Just, just stare at this in the meantime.
Chat, welcome back. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the second half. Science place. That mommy was made by Mid Journey. I think. Loving the revamp of the facility, Kyle, says DK. Oh, you haven't even seen it all, baby. Um, the t there's two new rooms that the Kevins have worked on for the past two months. You can see them in the latest uh, ChatGPT video. New Aria, new facility Nexus, the center point of all... <sighs> the center point of all the Kevins work. Work, da daily work. Um... There's still two, there's still three more rooms you haven't seen. The facility data core, the research layer, it's not an evil name. And, oh no, you haven't seen the third one. You've seen the new um, projection room. So there's two more. You haven't seen the research layer or the data core, but you will chat. Thirteen likes and one hundred and seventy-three watching. Come on, peeps! A shipwreck vids. Chat. If you if if you didn't click like, why do you not like it? It's fine. But also do it. Two new rooms created by Kevin McAllister. No, they. I mean, they don't have traps. Or do they? I'm seeing one hundred and thirty-seven likes. This is barely functioning. Well, come on now. Get with it, chat. Hit the refresh button. If you want to, I don't care. Loving the stream so far. Kyle says, Veilside. Veilside. We are 10 science times in to our hardcore run in Diablo 4. An effort that I can say, I will be proud of myself as a gamer. I will, I will, it will be a feather in my cap if I can beat Diablo without dying once, which is what hardcore is. Um, and I will, that, that will be enjoyable to me as a gamer. But it's all gonna happen, presumably, in front of you, because I am not going to die. What we're gonna do is say, and now back to a scientist plays with his controller that works, now back, now back to, now back to, scientist plays, Mommy 4. These runes, the delicate touch. This is Erida's work. What do we do? Oh yeah, the sorceress woman. Right. Solutions are found ahead, not behind, as father says. I don't know, I got a solution for you that's behind. It's early morning here in Australia, this is Rainbow Dash. Oh, you didn't tell me you're Australian. What do you want me to say? I'm practicing. How's Crocodile Dundee doing? Philly, going for the low-hanging fruit. Avasha's in 30 minutes as Squirrels, who's currently playing. She's usually over here, right? Wait, where's, uh, where's the thing? I'm gonna get killed, and then I'm gonna blame you, so let's not do that. You can say anything, honestly, your accent is great. You're damn right. Getting that. His fingers are just like in reflex mode. Screaming in rage ahead. Oh, 
This tree guy is cool. The design of this character is really cool. And look at him, he looks like an electric dead tree man. Cool. And now he's dead. Oh, my body, oh! Go back. The revered dead from the cairns. Returned to the worms. Returned to the worms. Arlo, did you think we'd so easily join the dead, lad? How did you find your way up here? I Through walked. The Through them. Mighty brave of you. And mighty foolish. Couldn't I have just gotten... Can I just go through here instead of going through... Whatever. How do you know what the heck is happening? Uh, because I've played through here on a normal character. Erida came through with that horned woman. Not her normal company, to be sure. She was some sort of mommy. She touched my lip and she cut it and a little bit of blood came out and I, I'm, I, I'm not kidding. I almost... Scroll of escape. Okay, so I'm gonna need, I need to get better at... Okay, so let's say I'm in danger. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, it's too far. Can I do it this way? Can I go like this? Oh, I can't. Okay. Wait, can I sort? Can I move this without using it? Split. Okay. Can I? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. So I'll do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I'll do that. Okay, so let's say I'm in trouble. I'm like, I'm like, bam, bam. Oh, bam. I'm like, oh, oh, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh, I'm about to die. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. That might save my life. Hotkey that scroll. I can't. That's what I was just practicing. I can bind it on the emote wheel. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't know that. Look at you. No, 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 no. I want it right here. I want it right on the center one. Uh, no, I want it on the center one. I want it on the center one. Yes. Save change. So I can just go bam, bam. Huh? I go bam. And then do I have to hold it? I probably have to hold that directionality, huh? So I go. <laughs> Ooh, that's fast. I didn't mean to do that even. Sick. I can't wait to go all the way back to where I was. But that was fast. All right. Can't use it if you're stunned. Well, yeah. Can't do anything if you're stunned. But that will come in. I didn't. Thank you, squirrels. I did not know I could uh, hotkey that ish. So now I can. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing you had seven. Yeah, I know. You can't buy them anywhere, huh? Elixir of Death Avoidance? Yeah, I know. I, I looked into that uh, when I didn't die last time, and uh, I'm only missing... I'm missing Crushed Beach... Beef, <laughs> crushed Beach Barns, which I know are up here in this area somewhere. So we'll get him. Yes, curse the tree, and not the giant, man-eating Grizzlebrand. I mean, Grizzly Bear. How sciencey is this game, says Ryan Dent. Well, we've already had ten science times, my man. So I can say, pretty gosh darn mostly not sciencey. But that's what you- that's where I come in. I can make anything sciencey. It's my- it's my yob. New character? I don't know what you're talking about. gonna make me go through the carns again, huh? Uh, not the best time to escape. Never seen the scroll of escape. Do you craft them, or are they only in hardcore? I have no idea. And what? Okay. 
Look at those thorn bees throw their quills. Well, if they're not very attached to their body. You know, a nice little tail whip. Does anything... Does any animal in nature do something like that? Well, the, um... The cone snail fires a spike filled with venom into its prey. So that's kind of close, I guess. Um, hmm. What else fires spiky spikes? Uh, cone snail is what I think of off the top of my head. Yeah, you don't want to mess with a cone snail. Straight up kill you. There are fish that spit acid? No, they're not. But, you, but something that I'm thinking about, Chef, is why don't more, well, why don't we see animals like throwing spikes or something like that? Well, think about it, and this happens in evolution all the time. Think about it from an evolutionary perspective on how resource intensive devoting resources to grow, you know, through protein and, and keratin and all that stuff, growing something that you will use for, that you will throw away from you or use for defense. That is a evolutionary trade-off, right? It takes some amount of nutrients and resources to make that, so it better be pretty damn successful. To, to do something fairly elaborate like that and to have evolution select for that over time. Or to start to select for something like that over time. You know. You find elaborate mechanisms in nature, but you don't find, like, inexplicably, inexplicably elaborate structures in nature because nature is explicable. Cone snails, cobras can spit venom. Yeah, not quite what I'm talking about. Pistol shrimps. Yeah, still not resource in the same way, right? Uh... Beetles that spit acid from their butts. Yes, you're talking about the Bombardier or Bombardier beetle. That's resource intensive, but it's successful. Porcupines don't throw spikes, no. Do they? I don't think they do. It's just for defense. Oh, do you know what? Do you know do you know what is actually the closest thing? Well, other than the cone snail. Uh spiders, large spiders like tarantula, um, the hairs on their butt are so fine and so tiny and so sharp that they act as irritants, like fiberglass, and they will scratch their own butts to get those little spiky hairs in the eyes of predators if you and, and mouths so they don't eat them. So, and if you've ever touched a tarantula, as I have, they leave behind kind of like a, a tingly kind of itchy trail, and that's because those are their hairs. So... Spiders. Chat, how the hell do I get back there now? If I can't go through the door. I need more time. Here? Am I locked out? This would be annoying. Like fibers in the suicide plant? Yes. But not as bad. Not nearly as bad. And the suicide plant, the It's two words. It start both start with a P. It's like Pika Pika? Or? It's not Pika Pika. <laughs> it's not that. Um, oh, it's a Gimpy Gimpy plant? I think. But those don't, those are passive, right? The, the plant doesn't throw anything at you. The taran, look at these little guys. The tarantulas that I'm describing will actively rub their butts to get the hairs in the air and in the faces of stuff. How is Necromancer in the end game? I don't know. You have to go to the yellow gate. I tr... Oh, no, this pass with Chat, you're gonna... You're gonna end up wasting a lot of my time here, Chat. Look at that little guy. But uh, this path was blocked, like, this path was blocked, like, right here. Uh... Go back to town and head north. Okay. Now you're reminding me of your most dangerous poison ivy episodes, is Kia Kui. 
That was a good one. I like that because science one. Do pineapples really eat you as you ate them? No, they just have a, a, a strong acid that you can use to tenderize meat and that kind of thing. But it doesn't... I mean, it's not a living thing. Make up your damn mind, Kyle. Jose, why don't you leave the gaming to me, eh? Uh oh. Do you not want my science times? About whatever I was talking about? The gimpy gimpy plant? A plant so painful if it touches you. The old wives' tale is that a horse threw itself off a cliff. Does adding a pin give you a path to follow? Yes, it does. Very helpful. Okay, chat, you were right. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Chat, you're so smart. Chat, you're the smartest chat in the world, and I love you. Enzymes are at, yeah, whatever it is in pineapple, I don't know. It's, I don't know what specifically it is. Chat, one, uh, one blind spot in my scientific knowledge is that I don't know a lot about plants. I know a lot about a different... I know a lot about a lot of different kinds of animals. Because that's just what I liked when I was a kid. I don't know very much about plants. I just don't. What did I miss is N.A. Oh, literally half of it. Kyle, as a kid, I always wanted to be a science YouTuber because of you, Vsauce, and Veritasian since Varlock. Vsauce and Veritasium are very good people. Veritasium's a good friend of mine. And I respect their work. Also, you watching me as a kid makes me feel old. And I'm not even that old. What's happening? Why am I frozen? What's happening? Controller! No! Skeletons! Save me! Oh, that happens... Oh, man. <laughs> Could be, uh... Oh, man. No, I mean back when I was a kid. That's the same thing, Barlock. That means I've been around since you were a child. You understand me? Ravenous Predator's Offering. Ravenous. I said Ravenous. Why? Mm, not so funny when you're dead. Yeah, what is that? Tendies. Yeah, science, science versus is a good podcast. Listen to their podcast in the secret life of plants, you say. Kyle, what is the command center in, in plants, like the equivalent of brains and animals? Is Arade Subagio? They don't have one. Wow, Necromancer just look, looks OP. It says Reaper Panda. Or, other possible explanation, Reaper, I'm awesome. Oh. Gimme. Oh! Ah, it was a trap. I like that kind of stuff. Sure, heal yourself there. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. 
Are you getting into the new Magic the Gathering set? Says NA. Yes. Um, I usually, so what I usually do, I don't usually buy, um, a bunch of packs of cards or anything like that. I usually only buy singles, and I only, I only play Commander. Um, so I'm usually just buying signal singles for my various Commander decks, of which I have like 20, 28, something like that. So the singles I'm buying from this set are, uh, the One Ring, Delighted Halfling, uh, Orcish Bowmasters, Palantir of Orthanac, or whatever the hell it's called. That's about it. Not, not much. I missed the start of the stream. Is this still Plutonia? Says Signy. Yes. Same character. Nothing, nothing different. Still hardcore. It's incredible. I, I need something that's going to generate me more essence. Because whenever I want to put heavy, heavy damage... Whenever I want to put heavy, heavy damage on somebody... I'm always... Lacking in my Bone Spear essence. I thought the character would be deleted upon death. Yeah, I haven't died yet. What I'm trying to say is I'm amazing. Level 37 hardcore character about to finish Act 2? <laughs> on me? Literally cracked? One shot? On me? 49 flesh? Pushing? Third partied? I forge more than horseshoes and nails. What'd you need? Forge more than ho horseshoes and... Ho Can't do that one. Horseshoes and nails. Hey Kyle, have you heard anything about Siphonophores, a denizen of the ocean? Says DK Rubin. <laughs> no, I have no idea what you're talking about. What's interesting about Siphonophores is that they're a colonial organism. They work together in as different organisms to make one big super organism. So Siphonophores, actually, when you look at them, they look at these, they look like these large tube-like things floating in the ocean. But if you look closer, what makes them up are a bunch of tiny little organisms. And these organisms, much like the cells, are these, as they differentiate in your body as you are born, um, as you are born and your stem cells differentiate, these tiny organisms differentiate at a macro scale, such that some of them are propulsion, some of them are using their cilia to move through the ocean, some of them act as like a digestive tract, and so all of these little organisms working together to make a grander macro organism out of each other is a colonial animal of which a siphonophore is a part. Siphonophores? No! Who are they? There was a rage quit. Are you speaking in riddles? Says Signy. I don't. You sound crazy right now. I have literally zero idea what you're talking about. Kyle Ventura says the amazing rando. Someone got the reference. Thank you. One of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> See, amazing rando. I even, I even did the same thing. And he's talking about the, uh, <laughs> the billionaires who get all the fish. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so, so funny. Get in there, skeletons. What good are you? Get in there and bone them. What good are you if not for hard upper echelon bone time? Get in there! Ventura. Yes, Satan? <laughs> God, I love that movie. It, that Ace Ventura 1 and 2 shaped me as a kid. 100%.
from the way I move my face and my the the reason, Chad, the actual reason I can move both my eyebrows pretty well and independently is because of watching Ace Ventura so Ace Ventura so many times. The roads are clear now. We need to get to Braystack. It's safer there. We've lasted this long and survived worse. That can't be true. You've been fortunate. Die, devil bird! Yeah. Braystack. Guano. Collect the whole set. Boned. <laughs> oh yeah, the rhino scene is all time, Reaper. Rhino scene is all time. When I when I'm with my mom and we park a car in a in a good spot in a parking lot, we still say like a glove like that. I have exercised the demon. Oh. I hate the single shot damage on these bone boys. I mean these cellulose chads. Chadulose, if you will. What the heck? What are these things? What is this guy? Who are you? <laughs> Destroy the Wildwood! Yes, invincible. Where's the other guy? Whoa, that's doing a lot of... Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is doing that damage to me right now? Whoa! Gotta keep an eye on that for a second. Get him! Whoop! No! Oh. If I'm about to die like that, there's no way I'm gonna be able to uh, hit the scroll of escape fast enough. I do need that cheat death spell, I think. Why is this so. I don't remember this being difficult on the normal character. Underground, you demon! Get out of there! Oh my gosh! Oof. P A R T Y? Because I've got two, Mister. Jesus, that was that was harder than I. Hmm. Yeah, I must have been getting just like. Uh, that you seen the signs as I have. It's getting electricity. Was that from the mask? Yeah. Hell is coming, and my people are not ready to face it. Not yet. Not yet. You. You. Are already strong. Ooh, the lightning was cool. Mm -hmm. Come forward. I'm not gonna face this boss time until I have all my uh, health back up. Rainbow Dash, do you like uh, in Dumb and Dumber when he's she says she's from Austria and then he tries to do the Australian accent and stuff? You have to love that. This trail of gold can only mean one thing. A little boy. A little, uh, whoa, what the heck? What, what is this? What is, is that supposed to be a bat? Oh, what is this? Ah, oh, what is this thing? Oh, it looks like a long fin squid or something. Oh, gee, oh, what, 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 is that supposed to be a flag up here? Jesus. <laughs> Goodness gracious. This little part, just adding the little bit of music in here. Barely functioning, to be fair, that's the first glitch I've seen in this game.
Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Only one of us will walk away. Pills from are this. good. Pills are so good. Enjoy the storm a moment. Ah, Voice acting in this game is nature's music. Top tier. The dead are killing your people as we speak. And I look awesome. Some will die, yes. But that is the way of nature. That is the way of nature. It is a crucible. It devours the weak and makes the strong stronger. And those who survive, they will save this land from hell. Ooh, get that Voodoo You've Ranger, Derek. For the demon's this fight is tough. No, no. We'll be alright. This is my choice. I mean, either we're alright or the stream immediately ends and I die. Power to do what must be done. And what did you give her? All things must be earned in the wilds. Even knowledge. Prove yourself, and you will have your answers. Pause time, chat. Come on now. So be it. This is the first time you're seeing what anything Diablo related, give? Koopa? I told her of the wards around Koopa. Astaroth's prison. Koopa, uh, Diablo is the original top-down action RPG or isometric 
action RPG. It, it basically started and popularized the genre, and this is number four, and it's very good. If you like angels and demons and lore and blowing shit up. If they cannot vanquish him, how can they stand against the fool? Look how gray I'm going, chat. Look at me. Oh my god. <laughs> I will take your word for it, says Koopa. Well, well, yeah, that's... That's how conversation works. Just kidding, Koop. <laughs> Never called you Koop before. <laughs> see how that... See how much that double evade helped me, chat? That's why I don't want to get rid of my boots. That double evade is clutch. Kyle, you look medium rare. I told you! I spent an hour outside in the sun saving a baby bird's life, Lynn. Did you not want me to do that? You... heartless... commenter? Passive bones. I haven't settled on a passive bone. What, what generates more essence? That's what I need. I need more essence. Essence, essence, essence. <laughs> Healing would be nice. I need to generate essence shit. That's what I want. I know there's something around here that does it. Is it this? I do like the thorns, too. Only one hour? I'm... I'm fair-skinned! You piece of friend? Where's the essence? Where's the essence? I don't know where the hell it is. Wait. I do like that. Mm, I don't know. I don't know yet. Yeah, I could increase. I could just put that thorns up there. Oh wait, it's wait, chat. It's time for an even bigger boss time where I might also die. Or I might also die pretty quickly. Where, what am I, where am I doing? Where am I doing is what I said, Chad. That's where my head's at. Guys, I'm not that red. Calm the hell down. Or there'll be hell to pay. And? She is at peace now. I hope. I never thought it would turn out like this. Maybe a little bit. Heroism and sacrifice. Okay. Uh-oh. I think something bad might have happened in the keep. Which is by Firebreak Manor? Question mark? Hey there, lobster boy, says Ekizioni. Who's just nuke from orbit? <laughs> I have unlimited power here. I'm God down here. I don't know what to pick. Gotta pick something. I like the damage to the distant enemies thing, because I'm always trying to... Always trying to stay away, but these passives are good, too. I don't... I'm not using any blood skills, am I? I don't think so. Bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. 
I probably will play and stream Starfield. We'll see. Ah! How do I get... What skill gets nets me more uh, essence? That's what I want. Do you think this game is is pay to win? No. I'm having an equally good time without having spent, well, I don't know. I mean, everything's cosmetic, isn't it? I'm enjoying, the game doesn't feel unfinished and I haven't, uh, the game doesn't feel like I'm missing anything without having paid a single cent. So no, I'd say no. Cold. Game feels fine. Oh, feels more than fine. This is a very, very good game. And it even looks... Oh, no! They invaded the mana. Uh, it even looks better than this. I'm playing on medium. When I play it by myself, on the 75-inch monitors, on ultra... Whew. Gorgeous. Gorgeous! Yes. Great golden fur! I don't like these big slammy boys. They do a lot of damage. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. The game is literally play to win because you can't play the game without buying it first. Thank you for adding to the conversation. Why is everything blood wave? Deals two additional waves. Ugh, that's pretty sick. I don't even, I, didn't, I haven't even picked an ultimate. Squirrels, are you still here? I like all my skills. But to pick an ultimate, I'd have to remove, like, my curse or something like that, and I like my curse. How do you get on? How do you get everything on there? I mean, I guess just play mouse and keyboard, huh? What's your favorite class? I've only tried, um, oh. I've only tried uh, Necromancer so far, but Necromancer has always been my favorite class in D, uh, D2, D3. So, uh, I haven't tried the other ones yet. I know the rogue seems pretty exciting. Um, but I haven't tried it. Don't even, don't buy every skill and every tree. Yeah, I know, I'm not. Guys. Guys. I'm almost level 40 more than halfway through the game on hardcore. <laughs> I think I understand the gist of what's happening. Locked. I'll have to find another way. So Donan's keep was attacked by a big burny beast boy. No one answered my question. Can a mod still read me? Is that cute? Hey, hey, look, you're back, buddy. Look at that. Got my eye on you, buddy. Unfortunately, you still have to pick six skills. Well, how do you... Hmm, what would I get rid of? The cooldowns on the ultimates are so long. I don't think that using corpse tendrils and minions is an optimal idea. Eh, corpse tendrils, huh? No minions on a necromancer? What are you talking about? 
See how much they were keeping the aggro off of me? You there. Come here. Hmm. Hmm. Might be right about the tendies, though, even though I like the tendies quite a bit. It's the stun that I like. Sorry for breaking down your barricade. You're trying to keep demons out, right? Oh, well, I'm here. Hello. The woman, the woman, the beast. Most top end builds them. don't use minions. Not our steel, not our what do they use then? Listen to me. I must find Donan. Where is he? He's downstairs. I mean, I can respec in anything right now. That's what I like about this. Easy respecking. Where you can just refund. Oh, pay. Pay 500 gold, get the point back. That's good. Gross. Yeah, I don't necessarily quote unquote want to follow the meta. I just I want to try to build something that works and, and that it's my idea, you know. But if I keep dying in hardcore, who knows what I have to do? NA with the 10. Got to go back into the real world. Good luck out there. Keep the science times rolling. On the topic of toasty red faces, what makes sunscreen effective? And why do they have to always feel gross? Um, first of all, shut up. Second of all, uh Sunscreens work by having something in them that either reflects or blocks ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet radiation A and B being different flavors of ultraviolet radiation, which is ionizing radiation. So what a sunburn is, is damaging your skin cells and uh, they get, it gets puffy, it hurts as a normal response um, to damaged cells. Um, but the diff there's no difference between like a radiation accident, like I talk about on the channel, and a sunburn. It's just the, the difference in magnitude. Um, so what you put in sunscreen is aluminum, you know, flex of aluminum and other things that either absorb, block, or reflect that ionizing radiation. Um, wait, squirrels, if they don't use minions, what, is, what are they doing? Science time. Like, I just don't feel like I do a whole lot of damage without the minions. Don't come from the other side. <laughs> yeah, you just... Yeah, you stay right there. Reap, Blood Mist, Tendies, Bone Spirit, Corpse Explosion, Bone Storm. I do like Bone Storm. Bone Storm is cool. I do like the Tendies on groups of enemies out in the world, but I could see swapping it out for your ultimate before a boss or something. It's just like Vampire Survivors. Making your own build is the most fun. Vampire Survivors is great. I'll, I'll do a 30 minute half uh, Vampire Survivors run just to just to wind down. Um, what I really like is doing a quick start and seeing if I can get to get to and defeat death on a quick start run. The eternal build is 3 million for I'll use um, own spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To do the huge damage. Is there a huge is there a difference between sunscreen and sunblock? Uh, no. I don't think so. And just two ways to say the same thing, right? I'm gonna need this amulet for a bit. I'm just being nostalgic, squirrels. I just, ever since D2, I've just loved the Bone Spear so much. It's like my favorite thing.
Wait, all of this was underground? Look at all this. Look at all this structure. How? Ooh, yeah. Two extra mages and warriors from your equipment and decrepify. Yeah, I was... I like to crepify for the slow, but I feel like since I'm getting hit so often, I wanted to try the Iron Maiden. Um, which is effectively like thorns, right? Enemies afflicted by Iron Maiden take damage, and then take uh, each time they deal direct damage to anything. They get 81 damage, and they heal me when they die. And it doesn't cost any essence. I can just... Bone Spear is the number one build for Necro, but they don't use minions at all. Hmm. But what is taking the the heat away from them? Reaper Panda, new chatter, new facility game member. Get in here, Panda! Get the heck in here, Panda! Thorns Maiden has never been enough. It's a little bit, but if I kill them in one hit, they never hit anything. That's true. Go ahead, open the door. Yeah, look how slowly. hit any walls so far, aside from getting pretty close to death on the bosses, but... Fortify defense. Well, I have the full fortify thing. Ah! Don't open the door! I was doing something! Ah! Yeah, all of my skeletons in one hit. I love it. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. Oh, what are those things? What the heck? They just doomed right out of the ground. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I'm out of essence. Stop summoning more goats! There's enough goats in the world, probably. Everyone just be quiet. There's like defense stuff, huh? Would it be like... Shadow Blight. I do use Shadow as my main thing. Every five seconds. Heal skeletons. Attack speed for minions. Golem. What do you think about batteries evolving into crabs? What are you talking about? Those ones use them. The heel and the one below it. What are you talking about? Squirrels, I'm in your future. Which one? Skelly ones? Inspiring leader one? No, this one. This thing? Bonded in ethen, essence and death's defense. What's, where's, where's that? Okay, bonded in essence, sure. But where's the death defense one? I don't like the golem. Necrotic therapies, death's defense. Where is it? 
squirrels. So I could refund this. Where's that defense? Just built a Lord Wingrace landfall deck. Not the most original idea I know, but it's so much fun. I agree. It's connected to bonded. Below bonded. Um, yeah, Lord Wingrace is a great deck. Oh. Oh, that's really good. So they can't get frickin' one shot by the, uh, what the hell? No, 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 no. Wait. Wait, no. Wait, what? Refund. No. No, I don't want to refund everything. Oh, wait. 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 What? what? What's happening? Mmm. Refund rank. No! Is it from a... No. What the... Hey. Refund rank. Refund all. No! What is happening? Hold the button, Kyle. I did. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, yeah, that will be very helpful, because now the minions can't get one shot by those big goats. Um... Yeah, Lord Wingrace Jund landfall deck is very good. I actually built a different landfall deck that is also extremely good. It is a combo deck that uses um, Krark and, uh, no, Sakashima and Kodama of the East Tree as their commanders, and it is a combo landfall deck. Chat, we, we will have enough time in this stream to defeat the boss of Act 2. And then my eternal character will be at the same spot as um, my hardcore character, and then we will learn the story together because I don't know what happens after that. But that will be a great place to stop if we're not killed by the giant dog. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, that's better. Knight's Bane indeed. Oh, yeah. yeah there, see? Oh, yeah, they're just staying alive. Yes. Thank you, squirrels, for your insight. Thanks for being here, Dark Jester. Captain Dag, you don't have to say nothing. I know you're here in spirit. A vengeful spirit. Yeah, shoot the bone spirit that flops. That's what I prefer. I think using Skeleton Priest makes them heal quicker. So that's why I keep hitting the button. Looks like some super mutants were in here, huh? Cleanse these faithful servants of their sin. Bring them peace in death. God, this guy's... Mm. Can't place it. If you didn't see Yorin outside, we'll search on the way. I'm gonna look at... I'm gonna watch the next cutscene now, because it's intense. When was the last time you saw Yorin? We were discussing what happened. Chad, if you're in the dark and then about what's happening right now, keep, uh, Yorn went. Yorn is this guy's son. Yorn went back to help at this area, um, but stayed with him. Donan has been keeping the Soul Stone for Astaroth, this big fire demon guy, at the bottom of this building that we're in, and that's what Lilith is after. But Yorn has gone missing. What brand of headphones are you using? Turtle Beach. You have to keep the hardcore boning going or else what's the point? I might just have to try a Necro for the new season, says Reaper. New facility gamer. One of Yorin's protectors. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do Necro again for the first season. Depends on how well this goes, I guess. But I... 
I'm now almost too invested. I, I would very much like to beat the game with a hardcore character. It is a badge of honor. You can enjoy the game easily without it, but. The last of my son's guardians. Come quickly. Yorin's mace is here. I told them to get out. Maybe he and the knights tried to stop Lilith. Yeah, I can't place this guy's voice. It is right on the tip of my head. What possible reason would she have? He means nothing to her. We need to move. The way to Astaroth is through here. Uh, I let you enjoy firearms. Not personally. My dad has some. My cousin owns a gun range, but I have a... Uh, no real, no real, uh, enthusi- not enthusiasm, wrong word. I have no real interest other than just, like, I like tactical things and things that are made for function and stuff like that, but no real interest, no. is a guardian of Lilith's father, Lord of Hatred. You get an achievement for making it to 50 with a hardcore character. Well, that's the level cap for the first playthrough, right? But you probably also get an achievement for beating the game, hardcore, right? I'd have to imagine. His head exploded, chat. Only using losing one skeleton there, I think you are very correct about the bonding. Huh. You can go above that before you beat it? No. Oh. Why were other people, why were other facility people saying 50 was a cap? Could they have been wrong? Okay, so that disconnected again, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, put this here. Steven, thanks for being here, buddy. Is that essential flavor? Uh, I don't know. I just buy like five at a time. I beat the game at 55, but the enemies were all 50, got it. My rogue is level 59 right now. Yeah, but, but, but I mean, but you're, you go to a different world here, right? Here it is. The Soul Stone Chamber. Okay, Chad, I want to watch this cutscene because it's cool. All this time. She took the stone. 50 is the max level of the enemies in tier 2. Got it. We need to find him. Yeah, guys, I know. Thank you. I only want to watch this cutscene for mommy choking purposes. What happens right after the choking is not so great, but... Mighty Astaroth. The charred duke himself. Confined to a cage. What a pity. Daughter of hatred. I have an offer. You will grant me safe passage to a place I am no longer welcome. In exchange, I will give you freedom and more. <laughs> Donan's progeny, his pride and joy, your retribution. If you give me you see how the shadow was already on in the shadow like that?
Hey, so you're not gonna like what I just saw in there, but uh Was it another vision? Did you see Yorin? Uh Yes. Yeah. He... But Lilith stabbed him with the soul stone. <sighs> my son. I'd like to stab her with my world stone. I'm Soulstone. sorry, Donan. This This isn't over. I know what I... No! There's still time. You have to trust me. Meet me in the Great Hall. I'm just gonna stand on your friend's crotch here, if you don't mind. We must find Yorin. All right. Let's quickly. So, chat, spoiler alert, uh, Yorin's not doing so hot. Uh, he has now been stabbed with a rock that contains the soul of a big fire demon. Uh, and in addition to a fire demon, Lilith has raised a dog with seven heads. Um, so neither of that is, is optimal. But that will be uh, the end of Act 2 once we find out. <laughs> Kia, you really like that scene, huh? <laughs> So now, uh, Astaroth has been given a vessel with which, through which he can corrupt. And, uh, the rest of this area and the town around this area might be in a little bit of trouble. Here we go, chat. The last time during this stream where I have a good chance of dying. You're in! You're in! It's the amazing rando. Don't ruin it. He has been waiting for you. I love that reveal. Where? Where is he? <sighs> Come forth. My boy. Concentrate here, Chet. Not taking that damage, my butt. Oh. 
Heal him up. I really like that this fight is like multi-area. Never seen that before. stand in front of me. What? Uh oh No, no, no. I thought my controller went dead yet. I was about to uh, have a serious situation. Uh -oh. Staggered. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Come on! That was uh, closer than I wanted to, Chet. My controller got wonky in the middle of that, where it wasn't taking all of the... Uh, it wasn't taking all of my inputs yeah. correctly. So that I, got, I started to get really scared. Whew! That was close. That was too close. What struck me about that scene chat is that um, that's some of the realest male crying I've ever heard in my life. Like, you know, it's not fun to think about, but if you've ever like heard your father cry, which they never want you to do, but if you've ever heard your father cry, 
Kind of sounds like that. And that, that was just really intense. I don't have Sever. Or Blood Wave. It's a very good voice actor. Anyway, I think, Chet, we are at the end of Act 2. All we have to do is speak to the guard at the gate? Didn't sound drunk enough, says Andrew. Jeez. Oh, Sounds like you got some stuff to work out, buddy. I'm just happy that we're a level 8, 30, 38, hardcore character through Act 1, Act 2. Still alive, baby! Aye. A shame about Yorin. Was one of us, you know. We'll take care of him and his father. Lilith and Astaroth have made a deal, and we were the ones who would pay the cost. Our presence was no coincidence. Everything happened exactly as Lilith wanted. We just danced to her music. Donan was shattered, his mind on grief, not her, not answers. No one knew what Lilith was truly after, or exactly what Astaroth had promised her. We needed to recover quickly, and we needed to stop chasing her phantoms. Chad, I'm now at the exact same place with my hardcore character as my normal character, which, yes, does mean that I am a, a mega giga Chad. Is Sever better than what I'm using? Like the drain. Why am I using Sever? What the hell am I using? What is this called? Decompose. Wait. I'm a pro gamer! The chattiest of chads! Indeed. Wait. Wait. Don't, don't do it yet. Act three. Act three. Sever is meta. I prefer decompose. I don't care about the meta squirrels. I care about what wins, damn it. For me. I gotta go, but I'm glad I was able to catch this and become a member. Look forward to the next one, says Reaper. Reaper, I'm happy to have you here. I'm happy to have everyone here at the facility, including our new members, including everyone that I'm about to add to the clan right now. Three of you. This might... Orc the game. You're in. And when you're... When you're... When you're in, you're your in. You're in. You are... Yo, um... Chat. Chat. That was an extremely good session. Extremely good. I know some of you were worried that Plutonia had died in the last stream and that Kyle's just gaslighting you the whole time, but as you can see, Plutonia is very much alive, completing both Act one and act two in one stream. I'm happy to have everyone here. There's a clan. Oh yeah. Chat, if you want even more of me and the facility, of course, like the channel, subscribe, like the video. You can become a member here or you can become a member back at the normal facility where our goal is to explore and explain everything underneath the stars and beyond. Latest video there. Um, if you want to learn everything about the catastrophe that was the Titan submersible, we have an entire 40 minute video on the physics and design of submersibles there that is popping off like crazy and whether or not YouTube is playing game. There's also an hour of me reacting to Riddle's hit piece on me, but it will be gone soon. Um, but that's the latest thing you can watch. Before that, a complete explainer on ChatGPT later, maybe this weekend or early next this weekend or early next week uh the next video 
I worked with my weapons master, Thea, Thea Ulrich, who helped me build the cyberpunk blades and uh, the supersonic chain. We made a rig to test how hard you'd have to stomp in dead space to smash them up the necromorph. So we did it for real. We did it with real body parts, ballistics gel and all that. You're going to enjoy it. I know I enjoyed doing it after that. This weekend, I'm going to record a new Half-Life history. It's going to be a good one. Uh, our next episode, uh, uh, our, our first footage from Japan is going to come out pretty soon. A story about Hiroshima. And here at the facility, with your help, of course. With your help, we will continue into the future, gaming, educating, being a nice little community. That's patreon.com slash Kyle Hill or join, become a member on the main channel. You get access to our private discord that has over a thousand people, the nicest nerds you'll ever meet. They play Diablo with each other. They bring food to each other on Thanksgiving. It's, I hear it's one of the best discord communities that any of our members have ever been a part of. I'd like to see you there. Chat, I hope you have a wonderful start or continuation of your weekend. In light of everything that's been going on, from the submarine to people talking about us here at the facility, I just want to stress, be nice to each other, because this is all we got.